Robert Perlman with CollectSpace.com. A question for Mike Massimino. Uh, you just mentioned the shuttle bringing more people to space, and as of this moment, you'll be bringing 112,766 people along with you as, as uh, uh, their followers on Twitter. Oh. Um, my friend so, said he thought that was my guest list. <laughs> so we have a, I have a lot of cousins back in New York, but not that many. So I don't know. So the question I think they all want to know is, uh, will you be Twittering from space? Will you be doing it during a spacewalk? And how exactly does that work? Uh, well, um, first let me say the whole Twitter experience has been, has been great fun. I think uh, uh, I've looked for ways, I think as astronauts, we look for ways to try to share the experience of, of what we do. Because it's a pretty cool job. You know, we're very fortunate to have it. And uh, you know, day to day we get to do exciting and fun things. And, it's hard sometimes to explain that or to tell the people what we're doing, and uh, we don't always have those opportunities like we, we'd like to because we're busy getting ready for a flight. So the opportunity to use Twitter has been, I, I think, has been great because it only, by definition, it has to be short. Right? It's only 140 characters or whatever, so you know I can only do it for a few seconds, and, uh, and it says I'm able to fit it in, and, and it's worked out well, and we get these great responses. That I'm not able to respond to to many of them because that takes time. We don't have very much free time, but but it's great to see those, and I appreciate everyone who is following and, and the, you know, the support of the space program that they're showing. So it's been fun, and I hope to be able to continue to do it up until, you know, for, throughout the rest of our training. As far as the flight goes, uh, we're going to be really busy, so I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to do this uh, from orbit. And, I, you know, I'm not going to be able to have my, my little BlackBerry device or whatever with me, uh, but we will try to. I will try to do something. I will try to be able. Whatever I, whatever I'm able to, I will try to, to you know, fire off a few words, and we'll send it down email, and it will be distributed. Uh, during, we do not have a text device certified for spacewalks. Yeah, so that's right. <laughs> during that period of time, he'll be offline. Right. You no, know, I could. You know, I could try to voice things, but uh, they try to keep me as quiet as possible, <laughs> which is always a good idea. So. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be hard to type during with a space center. But I'll, I'll try to do it when we have free time during the mission, a few seconds here and there. I, I hope to, but we can't make any promises. But uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to do that. But it's been, it's been great fun so far. Thank you very much. And one quick one from me for Mike Massimino. I vowed to never ask a Twitter question. Um, and then after I heard your answer, I feel compelled to ask one, which is, uh, for an old fogey like me, Twitter seems awfully trivial. How do you view it? Is it is it something trivial to you, or do you see a real value in it? I have a hard time understanding the value of it. Thanks. Do you want want me to say that, or you want me to Twitter the answer back to you? <laughs> uh, how do I see the value in it? Um, well, uh, I think it's just another way that we can communicate our experience of what we're going through here, what I'm going through, getting ready for the flight to. Uh, to uh, folks who are uh, who are interested in, in learning about it, it wasn't my my idea. Was actually the smart folks that we have here at the public affairs office at NASA uh, thought this would be a good way for us to share uh, our experience and information about the space program with lots of people who are interested to learn about it. A, a new way to do it. Uh, it's a popular way amongst a lot of people throughout the world, and uh, they were looking for a guinea pig and. Uh, I said okay, and our crew thought it was a good idea, and so we got it. You know, we, we figured we could do it. It wasn't going to be that much of a time hit, but uh, you know, it's hard for me to answer the value that, for the folks who are reading it. For me, I like it because I, I always try to look for ways to share this wonderful experience we have. I feel very fortunate to be an astronaut. Very, very uh, fortunate to have flown on Hubble, uh, a shuttle flight before to Hubble, and I'm lucky enough to fly again to Hubble, and. Um, Unfortunately, not many people get a chance to do that, but it's a really cool thing. And so I like ways uh, to, to share it with other folks and share that experience with them. So for me, that's the satisfaction I get out of it. And uh, I think the folks that read it seem to be generally interested. Most of the feedback is really positive. They'll learn a little bit about what it's like to train up for a flight. So I think that's the value. I'm not sure if you're looking for anything more specific than that, but I think it's just a, a way to, to educate and transfer information.